This problem is an excellent exercise in circle geometry. This diagram has all the elements that are needed to solve this problem. Let's draw these elements step by step, one step at a time. First of all, let's find the center O1 of the circle in which triangle ABC is inscribed. This center is the point of intersection of perpendicular bisectors of sides AB and BC. Now we can draw the red circle, which is the circumcircle of triangle ABC. Point M is the midpoint of side BC, and NE is the diameter of the red circle. Since diameter NE is perpendicular to chord BC in the middle of this chord, this diameter divides the major arc BC into two equal arcs, BE and CE. If we connect vertex A of triangle ABC with point E, then two angles BAE and CAE inscribed in the red circle are equal because they subtend two equal arcs, BE and CE. So straight line segment AE is the bisector of angle A described in the conditions of this problem. Line segment AE crosses side BC at point D, and now we can find point O2, which is the midpoint of segment DE, and draw the blue circle of which segment DE is a diameter. If we now draw a straight line through points N and D until it crosses the red circle at point F and connect points F and E with straight line, we can see that angle NFE is the 90 degrees angle because it subtends the diameter NE of the red circle. And subsequently, since NFE is the right angle and it subtends the diameter of the blue circle, DE, we can conclude that point F lies on both the red circle and blue circle. And therefore, this is point F described in the conditions of this problem. In this diagram, we can identify one more right angle, NAE, which also subtends the diameter of the red circle, NE. And we know that angle NMD is the right angle. Therefore, if we draw the black circle with diameter ND, then two points A and M will also lie on that circle. This black circle helps us to identify two angles with equal measurements, AND and AMD. They are equal because they subtend the same arc AD of the black circle. One of these two angles, ANF and angle ACF, are supplementary, meaning that the sum is 180 degrees, because they subtend the major and minor arcs of chord AF, whose total is 360 degrees. The second angle, AMD and angle AMB, are also supplementary, since they are adjacent. From the previously found equalities, it follows that angle ACF is equal to angle AMB. Let us identify two more angles with equal measurements, angles ABC and AFC. These two angles are inscribed in the red circle and they subtend the same arc AC. From the equalities of these angles, it follows that two triangles a, M, B, and A, C, F are similar. This fact is the major discovery. It will allow us to calculate the length of A, F. The length of A, F can be found from the equation based on two equal ratios. The ratio of A, C to A, F, which is equal to the ratio of A, M to A, B. The length of A, C is 3. The length 
of AB is 5 and AM is the median of triangle ABC which can be found based on the lengths of the three sides of triangle ABC. The rest is calculations. The formula for the median of triangle ABC AM is AM squared equals 2 times AC squared plus AB squared minus CB squared over 4. Since we know the lengths of all three sides, we can calculate AM squared. Then if we square both sides of the equation, the result is that AF squared equals 900 over 19. Since these two numbers are relatively prime, we can calculate the sum P plus Q equals 919.